Well, good morning, everybody, or evening, or whenever it is that you watch this. It is Friday when I'm filming this, and it just happens to be the weekend of the 4th of July. America. And I'm your host, Tim, if you're new here. I am going on vacation now. It's the office calling. Hang on, man. Y'all look at that. It's a Walmart delivery driver. Okay, got that taken care of. Now, where was I at? Oh, yeah, if you're new here, I'm your host. I'm Tim, and this is Today with Tim. It's pretty convenient how that always works out. So, I am on my way to a miniature vacation a few days. I'm heading down uh, southwest here of the state to Asheville, North Carolina. And I'm going to check out a few things there, and there will be a few videos that I'm going to make with this little miniature vacation and uh, I hope that you will watch them all, enjoy, and, uh, and, and have some fun. And if you ever visit my beautiful state, you'll, you'll be able to just refer back to all this and go, I need to check that out. Because you need to. You just do. Okay, well, it's lunchtime. I'm going to go grab me a bite of lunch, and then we're going to hit the highway rolling. A few minutes later. We're just passing by Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Boulevard where uh, in a previous video I was telling you about the bears that have showed up down here. Black bears all the way down here in the city just having themselves a good time. We lucky we got okay, time for a trip montage. Okay, got the business taken care of. Met a cool family from just up the road who's going to, to Pigeon Forge for vacation and I took their picture because I'm that guy. Uh, we're about to hit the road. Changed up my itinerary a little bit here. So um, see what we can see what we can find. I swear if Canada don't hurry up and get done with this damn barbecue, uh, we're all gonna die down here. Oh damn mercy. Seriously, Canada, come on. Got to pack my beer. Dang it. Hey Ethel, how many microbreweries are actually in Asheville? They say Asheville, NC has been named Beer City, USA, four times, and with over 50 breweries, it's the beer capital of the Southeast. I'll be fine. Well, look at you being all big and bad, Asheville. To say, but does it really matter anyway? You know, I wish things could change. But does it really matter anyway? If all I do Yo, I am on the Blue Ridge Parkway just below my hotel room. How convenient is that? Look here. Turn left onto Blue Ridge Parkway. I will do that, Ethel. Just because you asked me so nicely. Well, I had to change it up. I was going to save this for a, a little later date, but uh, since we're right here... Your destination is on the right. You're 100% right. Absolutely mind blowing. She always knows exactly where we're going. It's actually a little less hazy up here now uh, compared to at the house, so that's a good thing. So, hopefully, tomorrow we can uh, go and check out a few things I was really wanting to, to do today, but it may be better tomorrow anyway.
so need one of those. Well, that was a very cool little quick stop to the Folk Art Center. Really has some neat stuff in there. I really like them, uh, the face jug things. That was, I always love those things. They're creepy and cool. Even if there was one in there that, that looked like me. All right, I'm gonna go check into the hotel real quick and then we'll see what's next. Okay, we have a room, yay. All right, I'm gonna pull my stuff out, I'm gonna put it in the room, and then we're gonna go find something to do in downtown Asheville. It's such a great album. It was a great album. I wouldn't call it five star, but we'll give it a three and a half. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, let's see, let's, uh, what we got here? Uh, that's for a joining room. I guess we need that. We got a TV, drawers, little mini fridge, microwave, shitter, place to chill out, big old window where people can look at you, air conditioner, one big huge king bed, alarm clock that looks like molded jello. Oh, look at here. Let's see. What we got? That's kind of loud. It's kind of irritating. Nice and clean, nice and clean, nice and clean. It's gonna be all right, I guess. Let's see what we got here in the closet. It's just a laid back vibe, baby. Got all my toiletry set up. Let's do this. A few minutes later. Looky here, it's a tiller. So I was offered drugs. <laughs> In a quarter mile, keep the IT west ramp. Ethel. I was trying to tell him I was offered drugs. Hang on a minute. You ain't wanting some drugs, are you? She better not be wanting no drugs. But anyway, dude walks up and I was like, you can go ahead and come on in front of me. And I could tell he was uh not with us and he comes around my window and knocks on my window and that's not something you want to do to you know most people from the country but anyway i cracked my window a little i said can i help you he said yeah man you looking for some drugs no no i'm not and he said are you sure i said yeah i'm sure i don't even want any ibuprofen i don't even, i try not to even take that when i have a headache and that's when bro looked at me and said yo you got seven cents i can borrow he don't know what kind of a literal son of a gun I am. Right at the fork. Ethel, I'm trying to tell him I'm a literal son of a gun. Hang on a minute. In two miles, take exit 5B for Charlotte Street, US 70 East, toward US 74 Alternate East, Asheville 694. Are you done? Good Lord. Take a breath. Anyway, I, I had some change here in the door and I grabbed seven cents and I handed it out there to him. And I don't know the words, what he said to me, but he started a whole block through me. And what's funny is as I was taking my stuff out, there was this Hispanic fella, I guess he's a groundskeeper, had a, a backpack blower and he's blowing off the parking lot. My door's wide open and he's just going to town blowing shit all in my truck. So that's how my trip's starting so far. Goodness, we just turned off a daggone highway and look, we already got the <laughs> crash. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and get me something to eat. And then there is an event that happens over here at the park uh, in about two hours. So we're gonna check that out. But for now, we're gonna grab something to eat. Okay, I am here in downtown Asheville. I am going to check out some of the stuff around here, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat real quick. 
and I, I was looking online and Tupelo Honey is the place that I was wanting to check out and uh, well fortunately enough I'm parked right there so I'm going to do that grab a bite to eat real quick and then there's an event that's going to happen over here in the park and we'll check that out here in just a little bit I'm trying a local blonde so <laughs> I think I might have just found what I wanted fried chicken and a biscuit honey dusted forever free fried chicken Lord y'all I think I'm in heaven look at this glass That's so me. Let's try this beer out. It's good. Mm. That's good. The chickens fall off the bone. That is fantastic. So this is really cool downtown like there's a lot of artists and uh, musicians everywhere it reminds me of like downtown Stockholm uh, even with some of the really cool architecture uh, I mean we're not going to touch Europe look at that unit anyway what I was saying is when I was in Stockholm this is there was like an act on every corner and stuff and this kind of reminds me sort of, of you know kind of like that it's a really freaking cool place Well, 
<laughs> you guys know I am a country boy. I'm not nowhere near a city guy, but this is a cool, cool city. There's everything is here. Like everything. There's like a ton of breweries, lots of cool architecture, all kinds of acts everywhere. And everybody just seems to get along perfectly. The drum circle was fantastic. Like talk about just putting everybody there in one rhythm. It was great. Wish I was hungry again. I found a sushi house. You guys know me. I love some sushi. George, I feel like a beetle. Okay. This concrete hiking is a little odd and it's a whole lot loud. Well, guys and gals and everybody, I have made it to the end of day one on my vacation. This was kind of a short little to-do anyway, but Asheville, North Carolina, wow, this place is, it's a melting pot. Like, you're going to see everything here. Everything. And you're going to see the fire department riding around in a lot of circles. We know what you're doing, guys. We know what you're doing. But in all seriousness, this has been a cool day. Uh, I had to change up my plan a little bit. It's okay. I enjoyed the Folk Art Center. I hope you guys did too. Hey, listen, if you're new here and you've not subscribed, uh, stick around. There's going to be all kinds of videos. Go back and check out some of the older videos too. And uh, hit that like button to help grow the channel. Uh, I'm just a regular dude doing regular dude stuff, I guess. I, I don't even know how to describe it right now. This was cool. If you're ever in Asheville on a Friday night, you definitely need to stop by the drum circle. All right, guys, this is the end of this one. I will see you on the next one where we pick up for day two. Later. Lord, you always a belly dancer over there. Lord have mercy, I am sweating like a whore in church. You gonna see Asheville Fire Department up here all over the place riding around. You ever just see something that's weird? There's the Church of Christ, the scientist. What?